In this movie, let's talk about the global check-in. This is a tool that will perform a check-in of all of our checked out or locked items. If you've ever worked with other people on a website and they forget to check something in, it can be really frustrating when you know you need to get to a specific file, you need to work on it, but you can't because they did not check it back in. Because we have the administrative side of things, we can actually go in and check things in on a global scale. You do need everything checked in if you're going to do a massive change to your site. So this is something you'd probably want to do at those points also. Or if you're getting a lot of complaints from people, you can mass mail them. Tell them you're going to do a global check-in at a certain time. Everything's coming in, so don't have something out that you're working on. And you can do this mass global check-in. Now, when you go to the global check-in, you'll notice it gives me the exact name of the database table, the number of items, and then if it's checked in or not. Right now it's telling me all checked items have been checked in. If it needs to check them in, it'll have a little green check mark there and tells you that that was done successfully. If it's not successful in this checked in column, it's going to have that little red circle with the X in it that tells you it was not done correctly. So this global check-in information is great, but let's take a look at the table so you can actually see where they're pulling this information from. This information is being pulled from your MySQL database. I'm on the local host installation of our Joomla site. Remember we called it Joomla 15 or Joomla 1.5. If I go to 127.0.0.1 and then remember XAMP, we installed that so we could easily work with our information. To see that database, we go to PHP My Admin. Right here is a list of our databases, and we were the Joomla 1.5 database. And you can see all these tables, which again are in reference to the same tables listed here. What we can do is, if we want to look at this banner table, we can browse it right there. It tells you the different fields in your table, which are right here, and you can click those fields to sort by that field. The little pencil will let you edit that field. And if we scroll across here, you can see what the click URL is. If it's an image, the image URL. This is where you can tell things are being checked out and the checked out time. That's always good information to know. You can see what time of day specifically. If there's a constant problem with an area, you can look here and see has somebody hacked in and is constantly for some reason checking out all these files and not checking them back in. And then as you scroll across, you'll get a little bit more information. Remember the banners, they can be sticky or not sticky, etc. Let's go back. Let's check another one. This is banner client. Here's some information there. Let's look at the categories table. We have our title, the alias, the image, all this stuff that we're entering on that back end side is plopping into this database. Everything's related the way it needs to be. And it really makes us have an easy life, basically. We don't have to put all this stuff into the database one by one. It does it for us in a nice user-friendly format. And let's look at the front page content. See how we've got IDs and ordering, content ratings if we want to rate items. See it has a rating count field. Let's look at the messages. Here's the message ID. And here's the message that was sent. So you can go in here if there's issues and look up certain messages. You can see maybe if there was a past history, maybe somebody says they're not receiving the information. You can go in here and look and see, are there emails coming through and landing in this table? Let's look at the modules. Here are the different modules. We can activate the most popular items. We can activate the login module. Tells us the exact name of it access, show title, all those things we're putting in. Again, as an administrator, we can see those items in our table. Let's look at the news feeds. 
One thing you do want to be careful of, though, if you get into this MySQL database, make sure you know what you're doing. Don't go in here and delete an entire row of information, because then that information is going to be gone out of your database, which means it's gone out of your site. You also don't want to be deleting fields, because these fields are connected to different items that you may not realize, and then you might mess up the Joomla database, which then messes up the site. So if you do go to the back end, make sure you watch what you're doing, browse around. But it will help you learn about MySQL. MySQL is an easy database to use, but you do have to have a little bit of database knowledge. But I highly recommend browsing around in it. You can see how it's really easy to follow the same information that you input. You can see how it's being put into here. Plus you can see maybe a little bit of extra information that checked out time and things like that that might be helpful for you in a bind. And again let's go look at the users. This one's really easy to understand. You've got users, you've got their name, their email, here's the password that Joomla is throwing together, the user type, etc. The last time they visited when they actually registered Go in here and look and see who registered the farthest back, or even see who your newest member is. Okay, so there's some information on that global check-in in the MySQL database. So go in there, check in everything, see how it works, and then if you have time, check out this MySQL database and look at the different tables.